what is up guys welcome back to the channel merry christmas and happy holidays to you and your families i hope you guys are doing well today's video is going to be um a video i've been wanting to do for quite a while um as you guys have known if you are a loyal subscriber um over the last couple of months i did the come to your trifecta i guess that's what it's called um some people call it the come to your trinity yeah, whatever you want to call it the come to your tri uh, trifecta is the a plus network plus and security plus and over the last um six months i earned those certifications and i actually did individual videos for each of the certifications and i have a playlist for that so i will leave a link to the playlist uh, on a card somewhere up there um but i want to do this video just to kind of make a, a combination video of like things that have really helped me throughout that journey um with those three exams how i went about it um how i studied and passed and um why i did each of those exams and if you should do the exams just i, I guess answering general questions in regards to the exams i did so um if you like that sort of content please make sure to subscribe um and check out my other videos as well and also like this video so with all of that said let's dive right into the video all right so as you guys know it my very first video on this channel was my a plus video um which is really my best video <laughs> till today it's like the video with the most views with the most likes everything uh, which is something i never expected that my my first video will would have been that good but all that aside my a plus journey started in december 2019 uh, i wanted to transition into a uh, a tech position um more precisely a help desk position i wanted to start getting experience in the it field and i felt like the help desk position would be a really great way to start i was just in my freshman year of college first semester and i was taking like some classes i was taking a networking class um one it essential class and um, I just really wanted to start getting experience, so I felt like having the A plus would be a really good leverage for me in applying for jobs because I didn't have any experience. I have never, I had never worked in a tech related field previously. At that time, I did consider myself tech tech savvy, but uh, I really was not. There was still so much I did not know, and I feel like the A plus would help me cover that knowledge gap and also be a good leverage for me in my application to help desk positions. So that was where my journey started. I started studying for the A plus, but here was where I went wrong. Um, so I I started studying for the A plus in in January 2020, and I started throughout January for both the core one and the core two together at once, which is my first mistake, and. Um, I was not using the right study materials and I ended up failing the exam in February of 2020 and I will make a whole separate video for why and how I failed the exam because it was an avoidable failure but at the same time um, I still think it's sometimes it's good to fail before you succeed because you know every failure is a step towards your success so that failure was you know really important to the rest of the story which I would get into um, as I'm going on so like I said I failed in February and I, I was really devastated. I failed the core one and the core two. And I, you know, I was like, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. And then shout out to my dad for um, for really um, being the catalyst for, for this. He encouraged me to try the exam again, to attend the exam again, that I was never gonna have this period in my life ever again. I was not, never gonna have this much free time again. Like this is a really great time to attempt this exam again and make the most of the free time I had. I took his advice and I took the exam again, studied, studied for the core one, passed um, the core one in, I believe, May, and then studied for the core two and passed the core two in July. And you know, that was the start of everything. Um, I, Like I said, I made an individual video for the A+, and I will leave it up here. Now, the reason why I took the A+, like I said before, was I really was not tech savvy as much as I thought. Um, and the A plus really opened me up to a lot of knowledge um, in regards to so many things. Like the A plus was the was the foundation I needed for everything else that I built on that. And the A plus really helped me. And I I, I recommend the A plus for people with similar backgrounds because um, some people are you know they're tech savvy. You know they have experience with you know different areas of IT or whatever. But I just wasn't that person. I, I had a totally different background. So um, the A plus really laid the foundation for me in, in, in several areas of IT, 
um, with just basic hardware and software, virtualization, cloud, um, networking, the basics of security, the basics of everything. So I really recommend that if you're trying to get into IT and you really do not know what exactly you want to do, the a is a really great way to start. Um, it, it lays a really solid foundation for you. So um, that was um, it about the A+, and that was why I took the A+. Then right after that, I had the Network Plus, and the Network Plus has a kind of interesting story to it. it, it I was I had been procrastinating the Network Plus since my freshman year of college. I mean, like since the first semester of college, and because I did the class, but I really did not like the class. Like, I did not learn anything at all from the class, and I just you know held that to myself. I was like, you know what, I will do the exam at my own time, and you know I will learn about it by myself maybe later on because I felt like it was a really it was gonna be a really challenging exam. And after passing the A plus, I was really motivated. Like, I was just, like super, super motivated. Um, at this time, I started like applying for um, internships rather than just like help desk positions um, because that fit my schedule more. As a, as a college student, it would make more sense to get an internship than a full time IT position. So that was what I was looking into, and I was like, you know, what? I could if I did the network plus, I would have more leverage. You know, it, this would be something to boost my resume. Um, and funny enough, I actually got my current cybersecurity internship with only my A plus and my knowledge from freshman year of college. Hey guys, sorry for abruptly cutting you away from the video, but I think what I wanted to say in this part of the video was that um, sometimes like it's not just the certification that gets you the job because I had a bare minimum, which was the A plus, um, and what I did was to sell myself in the interview. So. Um, that is something to really consider in terms of like leveraging certifications for for jobs and internships. The, the certification does not necessarily guarantee you the position. It's the knowledge that you have and being able to sell yourself in the interview. The certification can get you past HR, but it does not necessarily guarantee that you're going to get the job. But if you're able to prove your knowledge and show the employers that you're the best fit for the position, then the job should be yours. So uh, let's get back into the video. But for the network plus, um, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just study for it, and I studied for it. Um, I'll leave a link to all of the dedicated videos for the network plus up here. So um, I studied for the network plus from late July to early September, and I passed it in um, September of this year, and I was super motivated. I was like, yo, this is amazing. Like, I literally just crushed three exams in like this span of time, and I was really grasping everything I was learning. And I was, it was amazing. Like I was, I was studying every day. Like I was really enjoying learning new things. Like cause this is like, this was like a whole new world to me. Like learning about IT, about networking, a little bit about security was like a whole new world to me. Like it's just amazing. And you, you wouldn't understand it until you feel it. So go, go study for that certification. You've been postponing for the longest time. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So th that was that about the network plus. Um, and then the only logical step after that was the security plus um the security plus um i i i, I hinted my my current um employers during my interview that i was studying for the network plus and security plus um by the time i was accepting the offer i only had the a plus so like between the period of when i accepted the offer and starting the internship i got the network plus and then um literally on the first day of my um, internship, I was gifted the Daryl Gibson Get Certified Get Ahead Security Plus book, and it only made sense to the exam. Um, so I studied for the Security Plus for about a month, and what really helped me with, with the Security Plus was the Security Plus was like it was a, a little more of a revision for me, uh, partly because I started learn, uh, learning a, a lot of things on my internship, and I had just like learned about some of those concepts on my own previously because after like really diving like diving into like studying over the last like couple of months with the a plus and network plus i was like on my own just studying like anything security related because that was what i was interested in i would like read articles i would watch youtube videos and a lot of these concepts were no longer new to me and also having a, the knowledge of the a plus and network plus really really helped because come to your exams like build off each other so like a plus network plus security plus um i think then you know the linux plus CISA plus, Pentest plus, and the CASP plus. So they kind of build each other. So if you take them in progression, there's like overlap of like, you know, each of the exams, you know, following each other as they increase in 
difficulty. So it, it, it certainly helped to have the Avalanche Network Plus before taking the Security Plus. And um, so I took the Security Plus in November after studying for about a month and I passed. Um, and it, it was a really, really amazing feeling. Like I had done all of these certifications in a span of like less than six months. Um, and this is not even like, um, I don't want anyone to like feel pressured by time in this regard, regard, because I like, when I want to achieve a goal, like I like really grind at it. So like, this was really, really intense studying on, on a daily basis and consistent studying and not, I don't think everyone is really capable, capable of that. So you might end up spending like two, three months studying for one certification where someone else would spend like a month or less time because they have previous experience or they're just like really, really good at burning themselves out with studying. Not really burning my, I didn't really burn myself out. I was just like, you know. Yeah, so all that aside, it definitely takes like a lot of time, energy, effort, consistency, um, dedication to really study for these certifications and, and you know, pass them. And another thing is, like I said before, I failed the A plus on my first attempt. Sometimes you might fail the certification on your first attempt um, or your second attempt. It's totally fine. Um, do not let it like demoralize you, discourage you. Um, I'm glad that I had the motivation, the support that my, my dad gave me to um, attempt the exam again because like that was really all I needed like that was the catalyst for everything else so it is also important to have a really good support system so if you fail try again like attempt it again keep trying seek help like ask people that have done it how they did it and you know just try to change your your tactics your you know how your studying tactics your study materials just switch something up and you know look forward to passing it again um, I don't really want to go deep into like how I passed it, like exactly what I did, but I really, um, I, like you can go ahead and watch the individual videos I did. Another thing I wanted to point out about um, my, my journey in this certification experience is the Never Plus before the Security Plus. Networking is an important aspect of security, and, and this is for people who want to get into security. So like if you're not like into cybersecurity, um, you don't have to like, you know, Take this advice. But I recommend Network Plus before the Security Plus because networking is important for security. Like it's just that's just a fact. And like if you don't understand the basics of networking, it's going to come back to you in the future. And you don't necessarily have to do the Network Plus to understand networking. You know, you could go study on your own. Like you know, read a book or watch some YouTube videos or just watch the course without taking the exam. So like, I'm not saying you have to take the network plus, but it's important to understand networking. Like I recently had a scenario um, at my internship where I was going through some analysis and I needed to understand where exactly an IP address was coming from and what kind of IP address it was. Like I, it, it was an in-depth in analysis and my understanding of networking, my little, my little understanding of networking helped me in that regard um, because I feel like if I didn't have like that base knowledge of networking, it would have been harder for me to properly perform that analysis, if you get what I mean. If you are looking to become a cybersecurity analyst or, you know, any entry level cybersecurity role or general cybersecurity role, a fundamental understanding of networking is really important. And I think Network Plus is a really great foundation for that um if you like you can also like progress onwards to the ccna um i would just you know step by the ccna you don't have to but you just have to like learn about networking not necessarily take the certification like just take a course or read a book or something but with all of that said this has been my experience with the certifications the computer certifications um I, it's been amazing i've learned a lot and i'm i'm really like grateful that i took that bold step to try again and you know everything that had had happened after that it's really like changed my life and set me up for amazing things here's 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 another truth people are gonna have things to say about certifications it's a major topic of discussion especially in the tech industry um networking industry cybersecurity industry people are gonna have things to say but here's my advice to you do what is best for you take the certification have the certification don't let people like, you know, defer you from making that decision, but be smart about it. Like you don't want to be taking like random certifications, take certifications that actually help you, that are actually relevant in the industry and would help you in your career, you know, where you currently are or moving forward, like where you want to, where you see yourself in the future. I don't see certifications as, as, as a thing of 
ego boosting. Um, I don't overrate them. I don't overvalue them, but I find val value in learning. And I also like advise people to, you know, take that approach in terms of certifications and just do them. It's left to you if you to decide if you really need any of the certifications, if you really want to take them. Um, I think they're, they all have amazing materials. Um, amazing, there are so many things to learn. And even if you don't take them, just by studying for them, like there's a lot to learn. So 2021, I have several certifications lined up and I'm really looking for, forward to studying for them, learning new things and advancing in my career um, to becoming a cybersecurity professional. So if you made it this far, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, once again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and your families. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your year. And I will see you in the next video. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas.